So there are five things that I look for when I'm buying a transplant from a nursery or a big box store. So what I look for is when I'm buying greens, I don't want there to be any flowers on these plants because what a flower means is that it's done producing greens and it's moving on to seed stage. So I want to make sure there are no flowers, all right? The second thing I look for is I want to look at the medium that the the plants are growing in and I want to make sure that it looks nice and damp. If it's too dry it might mean that the nursery isn't doing a good job of watering and the plants might be water stressed and if it's too wet there might be fungal issues later down the road as the plant gets older so you want to look for any green algae that might form here and that's a sign that it's been watered a little bit too much and you might have fungal issues. The third thing I look for is that I want nice vigorous leaf growth. So I want them to be nice and bushy. I want the leaves to have a good color to look healthy and I want them to be branching well. So I don't want them to be tall and spindly because that looks like they're going to flower soon. The fourth thing I look for is I look at the roots. So I actually take a plant and I pull it out and I look at the roots. I want to make sure that uh, the, the medium that it's been growing in is actually sticking to the roots. That's a good sign. Uh, that the plant is nice and healthy and it's been watered well and then I also want to take a look at the color of the roots and make sure that they are white that there's no um, signs of like brown or blackish roots that could be signs of fungal decay and then I also take a look to see that they're not totally root bound so this plant looks like it's ready to grow in the ground the roots are starting to grow together um, and it's running out of space so it really wants to get in the ground so this is about what I look for in my plants in terms of roots and then the fifth and final thing that I look for is I just look for any pests. So is anything eating the leaves? Are there any caterpillars? Are there any aphids? Those pests might be a sign that the plant is a little bit stressed out and hasn't been taken care of very well. And so that can lead to problems down the line. So those are the five things that I look for in healthy seedlings before I bring them back to my garden.